the Inland Empire's home for NASCAR. Fox Sports 1350. KTDD. What's up? This is TJ Ward from the Denver Broncos. You're now tuning to the Sports Minute. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Yes, we are live and direct from the great city of Riverside, California at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sports Net connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. I'm pretty excited about today. We have another, we have a gentleman on our show. I, I don't know. We, we might just need to put him on the business card. We might need to just make him a guest on the show, uh, a permanent guest. Indeed. I'm talking about, uh, you know, it, it has nothing to do with him playing at USC. Uh, I'll tell you this. He, he's a Riverside native, so that, that'll make you feel better. Is that right. good for you? Well, you know, and then we got a chance to uh, talk to him uh, off air, and he, he there's, there's some association uh, there as well, you know. So yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So with Coach Burns, it, it's you know, it's that, that it's August, right? So you know, August is when we kick off our our extensive football, high yeah. school football. And, I'm, I'm happy for it's football time. Yeah, and, and he's there's no doubt about that. He's in football mode. He brought uh-huh. he brought like almost the, the entire team. squad, <laughs> the medical staff. My hand is booster. hurt. I shook a couple of yeah, their that's hands. What I'm saying. My hand Every, is cramping. Everybody like was looking at you like they wanted you know they wanted to show you that hey you're you're an old guy. Exactly. You know. Exactly. They want yeah. to kick me in the knees, but yeah. Coach Burns. Linfield Christian, third year here on IE Sportsnet. Really excited about that. And then also we have, this is something I'm really excited about, Redlands High School Hall of Fame is here. Okay, it's Redlands. See, see, I was just telling my man Uh huh. that it was, uh, but see, it's the, it's the what are they called? The Terriers. The Redlands Terriers. The Terriers. The no Terriers. Doubt about it. I mean, okay. they've only been around 125 years. I yeah, mean, I mean, but, you, know, you know, yeah, they got their own, they got their own money. Exactly, they've been <laughs> around. So you're 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 an IE native, and you didn't know that, but that's okay. Oh, plus, that's, stop that, playing. That's not important. Stop that's, playing. That's, that's not important, but you know. Uh, and then also, our guys from Crunch are back here. Yes, uh, we're going to talk about Camp Crunch. Yes, uh, and and you know, and they're going to give us some details about because you know it's get fit time. You know, it's uh. I and why did you look at me when you said that? Uh, well, I'm just saying. Well, even look, look, I looked at my stomach. <laughs> And I thought I, I thought I don't like, have donuts today, man. Yo, yeah. So I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm trying to get in the crunch program myself. Last night, however, oh man, you know, great. I couldn't ex- even get an answer. In terms of what? Like Puffy said, you know, you said last night. Oh. <laughs> you know, the phone wouldn't let me dial. You know, see, the coffee is kicking in already. This is good right here, man. Oh my god. But yeah, last night, great, uh, great event over at Pachanga. Yes. Uh, we, you know, right there. See, you know, it's, it's wild to say somebody else's uh, sports network, but it's all good. They, right. they, they had a good program. Right. Sierra uh, Green, thank you so much. No, her oh. name is see. Oh, what is it? It's not Sierra. Oh, what it's is like. It? Oh, it's weird. Okay, How about, I'm, I'm well, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, it's, no, you should. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's it's difficult to pronounce. Okay, is what I meant to say. Okay, yeah, yeah it's it's um, but no, yeah. Look at Greg Holland with the music, the right. puffy. I, I, I love it, dirty money. And, and, and look, at, cause he got his thunnies on. You know, yeah. Greg, his hair is nice and whipped up. You know, Greg Holland's in there fresh off a of Friday night. This guy's hilarious. But uh, uh, at any rate, uh, but yeah, had a great time there. Uh, when I tell you that Miss Green, we owe her like lunch and and the whole caboozle. Uh huh. Because when I tell you she hooked us up with the best seats in the house, I couldn't make it, but it's okay. Yeah, I mean people were looking at us. I, you know, I was ready to start pulling out the pen and sign some autographs. You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> what are we doing yeah. here? You know I, what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. So it was real. I mean, I got a chance to be you know right there on the on the apron. You right. know, I almost wanted to hop in the ring a couple times. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Neither I, yeah. thought they're world class yeah. fighters. Yeah, they are. They really are. Uh, they'll they'll put you. And, and guys in the 108 weight class right. will, will, will knock you down. I saw some people in there, though, however, that got beat so bad, they better not even beat their kids. <laughs> they need to just stop fighting. Yeah, they, daddy never beat them like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, this boy walked in there. How, how he, he he looked like he was about 47. Uh-huh. You know, he walked up in there. I mean, how, how quick did he get knocked out of punch? It, it was like it was like thirty two. I mean, he just got tick tick. tick I mean, gave, gave him a little three piece takeout meal. I hear you. You know, I mean, McDonald's serves. You know, I mean, it, it was it was it, it was, was it was, it was it was it was epic. Yeah, but anyway. And you know, I had a good week too. I, I got a little emotional. Um, but yeah, Brian the second uh, comes home, and, and and what did he have? He was like, Dad, look, he got his jersey, so I got a little choked up. You know what I mean? So. Like, 
it. <laughs> Really doing it. Yeah, so he got number eight, the uh, Mark, uh, you know, Marcus Mariota number. I- I'll take it. I'll take it. So, so I'm excited to see what what he's going to do this year in freshman football. So uh, I-, I call him B Diddles. So we'll see what he gets out and he does out there. You know, one thing, I- another thing that I'm excited about is our guys over at the Honor Bowl. They do an amazing thing. I've been in contact with the director of the oh, event. Oh, yeah, right. So we'll probably have him on uh, doing a call in show. Uh, I think it was the 27th we talked about. But I mean, the Honor Bowl is you this year. Uh, Centennial again, the big dogs. Uh, so, uh, so, are they going to give us some some credentials? Yes, yes, we had I credentials mean, last year, but we we couldn't make it out. Oh, you know what? You're right. So, so I'm, I'm acting like yes. all brand new about it. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> I uh, do this remember is I, you said that. IE Sports Network, Coach being eternal on Fox Sports 1350. <laughs> we we get we get credentials everywhere, you know. Uh, so so uh, on September, let me let me backtrack on September second, Oak Hills in a rematch. It's taking on Mission Viejo. I hope Oak Hill shows up this year. Yeah, because I mean, last year it was yeah, a track. It was rough. It was yeah. rough. Yeah, because again, because we can we can talk. We're family here. Uh huh. Um, it was a track meet. Right. Yeah. Right. So right. And I think Coach would probably tell you that. I think yes. like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we had him on. He said something similar to that fact. But uh, Mission Viejo is a legit, obviously a real. I think real, they won CIF last year. Yeah. So that shows you the level. But but the big dogs. I think this. I think they played in it every year. If I'm not mistaken. Um, and they slap the people around every year, and I know that they had a fact. Yeah, well, they had. I remember the first one, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh-huh. against Orange Lutheran. Uh huh. And it was just like it was bonkers. I mean, that was a legit game, and right. that, that's when Jay. That was before they went past five. Fact, exactly. That was when. That was when. That was when Trey. Trey. Yeah. You know, was out there. That was before J.J. Dynamite was there. You mean Trey, the starting running back for the Cow Bears <laughs> that we had gave him his first radio interview? Him? Trey. Okay, Trey. What's going on, Trey? That's our guy, man. You know what? I, I You know, he's on our Twitter. He was over in Hawaii vacation, and I'm like, man, must be nice, you yeah, know? Yeah, you know. Uh, so so that's a big thing. But, you know, we also got some stuff we'll talk about. We'll talk about the coaches poll later on in the show. We'll talk about USA. Uh, and then Brandon Marshall and Revis got into a fist fight. And I'm I, go ahead. Well, no, no, please, please. Well, and I, I'm excited too. Uh, we have to make a date. Uh, the votes look like they're in for the Reader's Choice Awards. Oh, so, okay. okay. You know, okay. You know, we don't want to announce them just yet. It, it, it's it's coming up. Yeah, because I know we we also. How many creamers do you have over there, man? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I, <laughs> I only got four, man. You know, I like uh, coffee with my sugar and cream. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you silly for that. Oh man, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny right there. Yeah, like I said, I like coffee with my sugar and cream. Oh so it's, man, it's, it's, oh know. my god, I'm, I'm glad we're. This is live radio. This is beautiful. As, um, and you said that's something your dad used to always oh, say, man, right? That's what he used to say. Uh, right. Word up. Uh, but anyway, man, it's going. It is. I just lost my. Uh, I just lost my notes right here. Oh, Greg is killing me, man. But no, and back to that Brandon Marshall thing. I, I can't wait till we get a chance to talk about that. Absolutely, you know, that's going to um, be. But, no, but there's a there's a lot of stuff going on. The Olympics, you know, the opening ceremony yep. was last night. Yep, yep. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a great show, man. But let's rock and roll because I know because Burns to get him in, I had to let him know we'll get you in and out. Yeah, because he's actually he has practice this morning. I'm, I'm sorry, he has autograph signing. Yes, right? <laughs> yes. Well, you know when you go to USC and you ball out, that yeah. that's what happens. He knows people. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, like we said, coming up next, Coach Burns and Linfield Christian. I think his whole team is here. He said Google them. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So, we'll be right back on IE Sports Net. So, let's go ahead and take a commercial. You'll listen to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Illinois Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. listening to iesportsnet.com the inland empire sports authority paid non-attorney spokesperson adam Pulaski of the Pulaski law firm with principal office in houston texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad this ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement services may not be available in all states attention zarelto and prodexa users if you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs zarelto or prodexa and suffered an injury or even died you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation call 800-282-8605 now zarelto and prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolism. 
embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous community. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. What's up? This is Nick Young of the L.A. Lakers. You rock me at IE Sports Nick. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Yes, we are back at his IE Sports Net in the great city of Riverside, live at the iHeartRadio studios. IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. Well, first thing first, I've always held that Keith Sweat is probably the best singer ever in life, but I doubt it. Yeah, well, you, you would be wrong. <laughs> you would be wrong, sir. So, <laughs> Man, we have a great show lined up today, man. We have a very special guest here. As Coach B was saying earlier in the segment, uh, this gentleman, man, you know, uh, doesn't really need introduction. Has done some really great things here in the community. Is also, uh, you know, a native, you uh-huh. know, like, you know, a native son of the city. Uh, but please, sir, if you will be kind enough to introduce yourself to the IE Sportsnet audience. I'm uh, Coach Deshaun Burns, head football coach over Linfield High School, IE native. Rubido Falcon bread. There it is, right there. Falcons. That's, I mean, that's a Ramona rival. Oh, you right? know what? No, I okay. mean, what well, you know? Okay. I mean, you know, they have their own thing. I mean, you know, <laughs> Sammy Knight. You know, uh, the, what, Sammy's brother. You Darryl, know, the, Ryan. yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, exactly, Ryan. I mean, so you know, they, they, you know, Coach Burns. You know, what I mean, absolutely. You know, they got some, I, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm yeah. Just, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We had we had many uh, battles against those guys, man. It's a great thing, man. But Coach Burns, man, uh, you're you're fresh off a of, off of a great season, man. Uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, how things are going and, and where you are right now. Well, we had a, we came off a good year. Um, 
opportunity to play in the CIF championship game and just let our, our school be heard and seen. Uh, the guys competed. And uh, we put that to bed, and that's done. Those guys are now off in college, and in their first day of camps, respectively, across the country, are getting ready to head out. So we got to reload and, and concentrate on this season. Um, so the goal has been to focus on what we got to get done and, and make sure that we're knuckling up and throwing, throwing with a purpose every time we step on the field. So just taking care of our backyard. Indeed. Like, obviously, you're coming off the – uh, the record of twelve and two mm-hmm. overall, yes. you know, you know, and uh, and four and one, four and one in the uh, com- competitive ambassador league. Yes, uh, maybe you can kind of talk to us about that league and uh, the, you know how you how your your team is really kind of getting itself you know, ready for that schedule. Right. Well, I mean, we're blessed that that the league itself, the ambassador league, uh, people may not realize, but for the last four or five years, there's been a representative in the CIF championship game. Uh, for, from the Ambassador League the last four or five years. Wow. And last year was, was wow. unique because we had two right. from the league uh, playing in the big dance. So um, it's definitely a competitive league, and there's, there's college-ready uh, athletes that are in the, uh, in the Ambassador League. So the challenge is each week is going to be, you know, a knuckle, a knuckle-up-and-throw contest and, and drawing lines in the sand. So our mindset is that we got to be tough, we got to be physical, we got to be fast. We got to work on ourselves. So you know, we're, we're preparing in the lab in Lions Den. Yeah. To go after some things and, and, and not put the uh, cart before the horse, but just go one, you know, one game at a time, one week at a time, and we just got to make sure that we are solid Indeed. in our backyard. And whoever lines up in front of us, you know, let's let's dance. Indeed. And you brought about fifty players with you. <laughs> you know, like My I told him, still well, hurt. I, yeah, I told him. I said, man, he didn't brought the medical staff. You know, he got the he got the booster club here. You know, the you know the whole squad is there. But I know Coach B, you want to say a couple of things? Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no problem. Once again, we're joined in the studio by Coach Burns of Linfield Christian, and this is the third year of him being here on IE Indeed. Sports Net with. Uh, on Fox Sports 13. He was here when we were doing it in the closet. And we were talking about that off air, you know, yeah. when we were down down in, in the slums, you know. Now, you know, and, and like you said, it was unique that you guys, when you look at it, it was you guys against um, Notre Dame mm-hmm. when you yeah. guys were in the championship game. And that was very unique that you guys just ran through the CIF playoffs. So that shows you the, the level – of, uh, of competition in your league. Now, let's talk about this coming season and some of the great things that you have going on with your team. You set the standard really, really high. Like we said, you were in the uh, the championship game, CIF. You got a great mix of underclassmen. We talked about this uh, during the week. You have a great mix of underclassmen. You have some returning seniors. You have some transfers. Tell us about this year's. Uh, uh, that's one thing about Coach. You don't want to talk about last year. Right, right, you know, right, even right, when right. You, coaches win a championship, they'll celebrate that night. And then it's on to next yeah, year. So next. Uh, tell us a little bit about the team this year, Coach, and what's so special about them. Well, our team this year, we have a good mix of, of young guys that have been in the dance, right? Mm-hmm. So they, they got battle stripes. They've been mm-hmm. battle tested. Every last player on the team has played in a game or played in significant time mm-hmm. in a football game and has contributed to the season. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, uh, there shouldn't be no newness. Right. When we come in, there should be no surprises. There should be no uh, jitters. Now it's just it's just gelling mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. recognizing that the the guys stepping in now their roles have increased and they're bigger. Right, so right. So it's it's our job as coaches to put that heat on them, you know, put them in the corner and make them compete, make them uh, battle back, mm-hmm. uh, put them in in series of of duress and, mm-hmm. and, and, and strain and discomfort. And, and test that mental piece because it's definitely going to be tested. So, and he sounds like a, a guy that you that has definitely played some some major Division One uh, college football and had a shot to go at the league. So he he's ready. It's, it looks like coach is ready to get out there and play. So yeah. Now I know we got the players here. So I, coach, I want to I want to at least get uh, get the players in here. Make sure they yes, get, get an introduction. So so we have first we have uh, Mr. Simeon Burns. Is, is he here? Yes, he is. Oh, there he is. Come on in, brother. There you go. He's got a lot to live up to because uh, your brother is uh, at Arizona, right? Yes, sir. Hey man, yeah. you know it's, it's nothing, man. You know, see, uh, look what you have. I'm a little, I'm a little brother. See, so, he, so I'll t- you the little, the, the young little brothers always rule. Yeah, well, I mean, and I'm the older brother, so <laughs> I can tell you that you know, you know, it's like Daniel's son. You know what I mean? You got to wax on and wax off. You know what I mean? Uh, but at any rate, brother, hi, hi, first uh, introduce yourself to the IE Sports Net audience. Uh, I'm Simeon Burns. I go to Linfield Christian High School. I'm a cornerback and receiver, and I play for Coach Burns. There you go. Fantastic. Now, now you're a coach's son, so I can tell you when I, man, my father used to be on me some tough. I mean, I, I can remember many a day just going home crying. I don't want to play football no more, man. I mean, so and obviously, you know, now you are you are you're a grown dude. I mean, you know, you're a growing young man. How is it uh, being a coach's son? Uh, it has its benefits. It has a lot of benefits to it. Uh, just being able to be pushed by your own father every day and just 
him wanting the best for you and wanting you to succeed and having him as a coach and coaching the levels that he's coached is it, really a blessing. And some days it's tough because, you know, the father comes out and the right. son comes out. So mm-hmm. you got to have that battle some days. Indeed. Mm-hmm. No no doubt. Now, we have we have uh, Travis here, right? Travis, go ahead. Come on up. How you doing today, sir? Good. How about you? I'm doing well. Now, my, introduce yourself. I want to mess your last name up. You know what I mean? Because I know you got the nice, suave yeah, the haircut. He, the way he he's, looking he's, at he's, you. He yeah. looks serious, though. He still looks serious. <laughs> introduce yourself, sir. Uh, my name is Travis Lau. I'm a class 2018 strong safety and receiver. Strong safety. So, now, when you play strong safety, you got to have like a like a kind of like an attitude because if somebody breaks through, you're the last line of defense. I mean, you got to like you got to lay the you got to lay the biscuit. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. so so who is your favorite safety? Uh, hold on, Greg Gala. This is this is important. In like NFL or yeah, in NFL. NFL. I always looked up to like Ed Reed was one of my favorites. Okay, 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 I'll take that. okay, I'll take that. okay. Ed Reed, that, that 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 works. You know right, what I mean? Right, so, yes, sir. Okay, that's good stuff, man. So I know uh, Coach B, you had a couple yeah, yeah. that you wanted it, to. It, we got a guy coming up. Uh, now this, you know, this has nothing to do with my love from from a university that covers Southern California. Uh, you know, I, I am I am you know non biased. You know, uh, USC is not my team. You guys know this. It's my religion. Uh, so, Mr. Cravens. Uh, could you uh, let us know who, who's your older brother? <laughs> okay, okay, and, and he went to to USC. He's oh, a legend. Man. This, this uh, dude has USC like he, <laughs> you can't even don't even say US around him because he just like it's a just, trigger word, yeah, you know. It's, it's, it's horrible, man. But, uh, but uh, you know, I've, I've covered your brother since he was a junior uh, over at Vista when he won. Uh, he beat Centennial. We were talking about Centennial. Or, or, oh yeah. And he won that CIF which was, which was epic. Yeah. and went and won that. So you got a lot to live up to with that that Craven's yeah. name. Yeah. How has that been for you? It's been good. It's just a challenge for me because, you know, Sue was just, he's a great athlete. So going against that, just, uh-huh. just living up to it's a good thing for me. It just makes me work harder. Yeah. And, and I don't. You, you and, hear his voice. Yeah, I'm about I, to I, say, I, I, say, if not, you got a history. You got, got a career in radio. Uh, uh, but, but, so, at any so rate, let's talk some Right. But, yeah, yeah, or, 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 or late night, late night or R&B stuff. You know what I mean? But, uh, uh, but uh, at any rate, um, I know everybody's on your head about getting Redskin tickets. I know they're like, okay, yeah. so where does where you know? Get, I need the gloves. Right. How right. do you how do you handle that? Or or or, the, or maybe the young ladies are going. I need I, I need an autograph. Right. Right. I don't know. Or, or, or you know, talk to us about that. Since everybody's hitting me up. <laughs> yeah. Let me get to a game. Let me get to a game. I haven't got a ticket yet. So I'm, I'm trying to see where I'm at first. That's great. That's good stuff. You know, one thing that, that I like to see, you know, and I know we're talking about Linfield Christian, and we got uh, Sewer Craven's brother on, uh, one of the uh, the stars out there. But, you know, it's it's always good, and, 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 and hopefully your brother hears this, but it's always good to see, because my son now is playing freshman football in high school, and it's always good to see, especially from the IE, kids go to that next level. Indeed. So, so that's always a good thing. But you – but you are a stud in your own right to a wide receiver, a DB, three years of – what is it with you, you Craven boys? You guys just – I mean, you get to high school and say, hey, I don't play freshman. I don't play JV. I, I'm a varsity guy, you know. So uh, what, what, are you, what, are, what are you excited about this year? I know you're transferring in. Yeah. But what are you excited about this year being under Coach Burns um, just, and Linfield? Just getting ready for college, just trying to prepare myself to get ready for the next level. Coach Burns is a great coach for – just ready for the season. Absolutely. And you know what you say you can draw so you're gonna draw us the logo? <laughs> he, he was like he was like, Well, you gotta talk to my agent. I got an agent now, you know what I mean? No, no, not we in all, high school. Right, right? I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't mean no, that. No, no, you talk to my parents. Me. Yeah, talk to talk my parents. Talk to my parents. Sorry about that. Yeah. The agent, you know, I'm sorry, yeah, parents. Uh, we got Bradley here. Let's get I wanna get Bradley is about about seven what, seven one, Bradley? <laughs> Come on in, Bradley. Get a little closer to the microphone there, sir. Uh go ahead and introduce yourself to the IE Sports Net audience. I'm Bradley Whitworth. I'm a center on the offensive line and a D end. And a, and a D end. So it's like so. So you almost, so. Uh, uh, let me. What JJ Watt? You know what I mean? Are, do you get those comparisons all the time? Uh, sometimes, sir. Okay, no doubt about it. So like now, when you play the D end, what's the difference? You know, because center is like you got to cause chaos every every play. So what, what position do you enjoy more? Uh, I've always been kind of an offensive lineman my whole career, so I've had more experience there, but. You know, nothing wrong with being super aggressive on the D line. Exactly, no doubt about it. Well, we certainly appreciate it, sir. Uh, you uh, you go ahead and coming in, man. Now, uh, Coach B, I know you have another gentleman you wanted to bring. Oh up. yeah. So so where's uh, is Clay? Where where's where's our, our so so Clay? So so Clay is the quarterback. Yes, sir. Did you see how he was he was leaned up against the wall and how smooth he looked? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he kind of slid in there like yeah. you know. He, 
Oh, was, silly, like, silly. They, didn't hit, they didn't hit the lights for him. Yeah. I, wait a minute. So he Do like, you sing or something? Wait a minute. I, that's why, that why they talk. That's, okay. Oh, 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 he's a quarterback. Oh, that's why. Yeah, you see oh, how, how smooth he I came in? I should have known. It was either quarterback or he was a kicker. One right, of the two. Right. You know what I mean? It was going to be one of the two. No, as cool as he was, he was definitely a quarterback. Man. Guaranteed. So, you know, one thing, this is one thing we love to talk about, and we do the, the pre-show questionnaires and we get information on kids. Indeed. And, you know, we'll talk football. We'll, right. Once again, IE Sports Net, 5 Sports 1350 with Coach being Eternal. We're joined by Lynn Field Christian, uh, high school football. One thing I like, you went to Haiti. Yes, sir. Uh, to to do a, a monastery trip. Tell us a little bit about that. You know, this is bigger than football. See, quarterbacks do stuff like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, had an opportunity to go with some of my classmates to Haiti for a VBS trip. Nice. For about a week. Yeah. So we go down there and put on a whole VBS thing for the kids. Nice. It's a really great experience. Oh, I can imagine, man. That's dope, man. What, what does Burns got in the water out there? Yeah, you man, know? Burns got, you know, he, he, he's getting them nice. So now, now being a quarterback, now... Here's the situation. You got to be, you're an immediate team leader, no matter how you want to do it or not. So, so if, if you, if the team is messing up, you down 14, right? Well, they, maybe they're not messing up. You're just not being playing aggressive. You down 14, you know, down 14 points. What are you going to tell the team to get them fired up? I'm, you know, obviously, you know, within, <laughs> within context. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, we just got to play as a team. Everybody's got to do their job. If everybody does their job, then it's all good. Indeed, indeed. Coach B, I know you wanted to say something. Yeah, yeah. And then you said one of the, the toughest things for you was moving on from that, that loss in the CIF. What, what what have you done in the offseason? You know, uh, and I'm trying to get notes. My son's a quarterback, so, right. so don't don't worry about that. But what, <laughs> what did you do in the season or an offseason to get better, to get back to that CIF uh, championship? I'm going to take notes from my son so we can – because we need to get to a CIF game too. Um, uh, working hard every day, just staying in film, staying in your playbook. But, uh, yeah, just working hard every day. Fantastic. And we also got Mr. Ben Coleman here. Go ahead, go ahead, Ben. Step on up, man. I know it's no problem for you stepping up. You know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, Ben, uh, uh, tell us what position you play, sir. I play left tackle and DN. Okay, so you DN too? Yes, sir. Okay, so you you my man. You guys kind of like do do your thing on the DN over there. Yes, sir. Okay, so what's the mindset when you play in DN? Because, you know, I've never played no DN before. You know, but I, I don't know if you can tell. Like, you know, I can... You know, in the morning, I could probably hit about a good, you know, seven, you know, set of seven and some push-ups. You know what I mean? You know, nothing major. You know, I'm I'm benching about a good He's one. benching the bar. About no, a one, no about 115, just, just you know, 45. every now and then. Uh, <laughs> but uh, t- talk to me about the mindset when you're playing defensive end. Defensive end, you just got to be aggressive and smart at the same time, you know. Don't try to get a little, little bit of crackbacks on you and stuff right. like that. Right, you exactly, because you, you can't be too aggressive, exactly. Yes. Yes. Right, right, indeed. indeed. And so and so right now, talk to us about uh, uh, Coach Burns' his leadership you playing for him as a coach. How is he? Well, Co- Coach Burns is a great guy. You know, he's a great leader. You know, I've been around the team. My dad's coach. I've been around the team, you know, as I was small, you know, to like just about like seventh grade. Okay. So Coach Burns, I've been around Coach Burns. You know, he's a great leader. And just if you follow him, you, you'll be straight. Indeed, indeed. There you go. And I know you, we, have, we had another gentleman that was here. We got to get my man on. And, I, and, you know, we say the best for last. When, I, when I'm looking <laughs> at his bio, I got a little emotional, got a little choked uh-oh, up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. My son and I were really like this. Uh, he says he likes watching the Chargers. Um, so, you know, we can end the interview after that. I mean, I mean it, you know, cause I got, you know, I have a, I have a code name for my, for Philly Rivers, Philly Riverside. He's uh-huh. not from Riverside. He's from Alabama. Uh-huh. Uh, but I mean, cause to me, he's like one of those, he's like one of those, he's a, he's a dynamic quarterback. Cause you look at him, he figure like if he ever got loose for a hundred yards, he wouldn't make it. Like uh-huh. he couldn't like, I don't know if he could really run a hundred yeah. yards. You know what I mean? But he's a dope quarterback. You obviously, I mean, he has that, that weird way he throws and, is, and, and gets the job done. He's really a great quarterback. So I, I John, John Henry. You the the last? Do we get everybody? I think we got everybody. Okay. okay. So so well, the water boys. I mean the, 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 that would the, the, the medical staff yeah. is still out. Uh-huh. But he played four years of varsity, three years starter on defense. It's, again, you know they don't they don't play freshman. It's like when I come to Lynn, I'm only coming if I'm starting varsity. Right. <laughs> you know. So Mr. Henry, how are you this morning? Doing well. Doing well. How about you? We're doing great. We're doing great, man. What what are you excited about most? About this, I mean, you guys have a target on your back. You're building the team. You were in the CIF uh, championship game. You, unfortunately, you can't, guys came up short. But what's your mission and your purpose this year uh, to get back and win that game? I just, you know, just take it one game at a time. You know, coach always says, you know, go one and zero every week, mm-hmm. and uh, you know you'll be straight. And I'm just looking forward to playing one more year with all my brothers. And I've uh, been with some of these guys since I was in seventh grade. So just one, one last year with all of them. 
Yes. That's, that's good, man. Well, I, I well, I, well, there it is there. I definitely love it. So Drop the mic. Yo, I, right, right? So <laughs> so we, uh, we're we excited that about Don't this. literally drop the mic. But, you right. Know, yeah. Please don't. We don't, we don't want to get charged for that. <laughs> but uh, we can bring Coach in to, to, to wrap yeah, it up. Yeah, we'll get Now, Coach Burns, now uh, – Oh, let's let's get him in here. Now you know he got to go through the roles real quick. You and, know? and listen, he's a four year letterman at at Rubido, yeah. uh, the school that used to beat up on on your. your hey man, team. hold on, man. Hold starting on, man. his career, this is one thing I was doing my research. He's, I mean, he. This is a local guy. He started with the Harupa Valley Steelers. Yeah, oh Steelers. wow, that's, uh, I mean, I'm right there. That's right. Oh, yes. he, that's Rubido. He's like Rubido, Rubido. Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, like I mean, that. he is ser- a serious. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, that's deep, went deep, to a, went to a, and this is what we were talking to Mr. Cravens about just a second ago. He went to a school that's uh, University of Southern oh, California. Man, he's got to go. Uh, play. Not only did he was he a stud in football, but he said, you know what? Unfortunately, he had the injury, couldn't play. He said, you know what? I'm gonna play baseball. Yeah. So I was Bo Jackson before there was, was a Bo Jackson. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, no. I'm just, no he's like, like no. he was like, hold on, man, hold on, man. You know what I mean? You know. Uh, well, you're you're, you're the, the California Bo Jackson. Let, right. Let's do that. And I know we got to get ready to wrap up here, Coach Burn. But tell us what tell us tell our audience your your first game and and you know where they can check you guys out. Our first game is at home versus Desert Hot, Desert Hot Springs at. Uh, Linfield Christian High School, 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, we look forward to coming out and playing our caliber of football. Right, uh, absolutely. And, that, and that's that's the bottom line. We want to want to get down on the yeah. get down. You know, yeah, fantastic. I know it's been a long time coming. Oh, man, has it. So uh, yeah. we're ready. Actually, we had practice this morning. We had to go do some things. I like that. Back at the Lions Den and take care of business. And, Indeed. Uh, Get ready to, to lock it up on Monday. Well, yeah. best. Of, I, I can say I can. I can definitely say you guys got the best dress award. You Absolutely know right. 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 They look guys, good. We got to get a yeah. picture with you guys. Indeed. So once again, Coach Burns, head head football coach at Linfield Christian. We love it. We've seen him uh, come in and grow over the past three seasons. So we're excited about that. Brought in. Uh, and I'm not going to butcher up the names. If I don't, if I can't pronounce the last name, I'll just say the first name. So Simeon Burns, we had in John Henry Clay. I'm, I'm not going to try to butcher up your name, Mr. Craven, Travis, Brad, and Ben. We we appreciate you guys for coming in, getting here early, missing practice. Don't make them do up downs because they missed no, practice no, no. or they were late. You know, like right. but we were with you, coach. You right. know, exactly. <laughs> if I can insert real quick, I just want oh, go to ahead. Say thank you to you guys for what you're doing for the Inland Empire. Appreciate it. Um, how you reached out from San Bernardino all the way out this way just to. Expose the talent mm-hmm. and showcase it because sometimes it gets overlooked and people just don't understand what really goes on and the work you guys do behind the scenes on social media as well as just the phone calls and what you're doing, even putting together that all-star game with the right. boys at Cajon and all that stuff. So, uh, and uh, Jaden and his crew up there Indeed. at Cajon. So, uh, we appreciate you. Linfield Lions, appreciate you, boys. And uh, Sorry, if you need from us, we got you. Thank we you. certainly appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it, Coach. Indeed. So let's go ahead and take us a quick commercial. You're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolism. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24 7. Call 800 282 8605. That's 800 282 8605. 800 282 8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800 282 to 8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah! No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four. 
seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports. Or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle scoresports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Yo, what up? This is Send Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet. All day long, all day strong, you heard? Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside, California, live at the iHeartRadio studios at IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile right here live on Fox Sports 1350. I'm your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, conversation starts and stops right here. I mean, what a great show. Linfield Christian, third year Coach Burns has been here. And when we talked the other day, you can see the level of, of – he's, he's getting a couple of transfers – and then he has his son. We didn't even get a chance to talk about that. His older son is at Arizona now. Right, right. And I that's think. the, the you know, because that's the one thing that shows a program is successful when you start putting kids in, in, in schools like that. Indeed. You know? no, that, there's no doubt about that. That just shows right there that, hey, these guys are serious about it. Uh, they're engaged. They want to see the job done. So it's always a good thing to see that. Uh, I know now we have a very special guest. Coach B, you've been uh, talking about uh, this gentleman here for the last week. So we're excited to have the gentleman here. Absolutely. Uh, out of the uh, Redlands High School Hall of Fame. Please, uh, sir, introduce yourself to the IE Sportsnet audience. Hi, my name is Fernando Munoz. I'm from the class of 2016 from the long lineage of Redlands Terriers, fantastic. So you like you like man. You just you you just got through. Uh, what you just graduated like what two days ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally <laughs> almost. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so again, man, certainly appreciate you coming out, uh, Fernando. Take a moment to really explain to our audience uh, the significance of the Redlands Hall of Fame and and why it's in place. Well, as you know, Redlands High School is started in 1891. Wow. That's- and yeah, hundred and twenty fifth anniversary. This like September. I said, they print their own money. Yeah, I mean, I mean, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, in two thousand, we started this Hall of Fame. Well, I didn't. Someone else did, but they joined me on. But we started this Hall of Fame to just recognize all the athletes, coaches, and other contributors to Redlands Athletics and the local community as well. Right. Yeah. Indeed. So now, being a hundred and what one hundred and twenty five years old is that? Is that? I mean, yeah. So maybe uh, talk to us about. Uh, the renovations, because uh, obviously there's been some, you know, since 2000 to now, there's been some change. Maybe you can kind of talk about that. Yeah, for the 125th um, anniversary of the school, we had um, we were fortunate to get a lot of donations, and we put $5,000 of our own money to the remodeling of the Hall of Fame room. Oh, nice. Putting new um, showcases and all this, and now we can actually open it to the public for every home game. Oh, nice. For, for forever. Wow, yeah. that's something right there, and that's some serious pride. We've talked about because we've had uh, we had Citrus Valley softball on. We've had a coach, Coach Brewer from Rev. Uh, you know, I don't don't get upset. I'm I'm, I'm talking no. about other schools in Redlands, uh, <laughs> but we've had Coach Brewer on from Rev, and now Redlands as well. I mean, the support that that city gets for its athletic programs is oh, just it's a serious amazing. Thing. Well, and, and you know, if you would ask me, it, it kind of starts when when kids are young. Right. Like, what's that? What's that? The uh, the, the, the the youth football team that's out there? Did you oh, guys the, have um, Bulldogs? The yeah, Army exactly. I mean, they, they run around 
around just beating up. It's kind of like how like a UM Florida State thing, like we all play with each other and then mm-hmm. full high school and all that. Like, <laughs> exactly. That rivalry I, can going Im- on? I can imagine. I'm right. Sorry. And then going back, to, speaking of Bruick, going back to the history, I know Fontana because I live in Fontana. Fontana and Redlands had history with Coach Bruick, Big Bruick. Yeah. Uh, that goes back years when they created, you know, because that's one thing Bruick always said. He created Fontana Pop Warner because they could never beat Redlands right. in, in football, the Redlands Terriers. So. It was. Uh, this is well before his son took over Rev. But right. I mean, Redlands is. I mean, the the athletes they put out of Redlands is amazing. Oh yeah. So we're joined in the studio once again by Fernando Munoz, um, and from Redlands High School Hall of Fame on IE Sports Net Fox Sports thirteen fifty with Coach being Eternal. Now let's talk about this induction ceremony. I'm sure it's been a, a stressful time for you all. Give me an idea of what all goes into that process and 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 how you guys are going to do that. So for the process for the inductions, it's um, based on. Anyone who wants to fill an application for it, but then we have a very strict um, committee member that we we pick and we select. We have all these all this history. We have to find the best p- candidates for this um, induction. Indeed. And every year we have this ceremony at the U of R. We have local community leaders, congressmen, businessmen, and as well as alumnus and current coaches as well, just to. Um, accept these inductions it's for a their wow. deal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's oh, a big yeah. deal. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's good. So, so you know, so someone like me would have because Downey High School has a, a, a <laughs> Hall of Fame, but I, I don't think that I would. So basically, if that's the standard, I'm got, not getting it. You haven't gotten that email yet. Yeah, okay. yeah. Now, now, we, Fernando's like, yeah, you have to have some credentials. So. Right, right, absolutely. So you know, uh, like we said, without you can't have a Hall of Fame without inductees. Um, who's going to be going in and get that honor to go into the Redlands High School? Hall of Fame this year. We have a great class for the class of 2016. First off, we have um, Jim Petty. He was the class of 56. He was an all CBL in baseball and basketball since sophomore year. Nice. And played at uh, the U of R. And he was a first team um, CIAC team. And then Jimmy Jimenez. Now, during the war, World War II, the tennis program was cut for 30 years. He wow. brought back the tennis program to its prominence that it was, and it got to number ones in singles and doubles. Wow. And then Mark Engelbretson, he was the class of 67, he earned seven varsity letters, played and coached at the uh, United States Air Force Academy nice. for over 20 years. Nice, nice. Now, um, as we mentioned, uh, the high school Again, Redlands High School. 125 years. Man, I'm talking about. 1891. They were there with the trade and barter system. Matter of fact, I don't even know if if the currency was different at that time. Well, USC started in 1888, but that's not important. You know, I mean, here you go. We actually beat USC. Freshman team, they played oh, the now, high school. Did now, you, that's did, how you, did you have to? Uh, see, uh, did I'm, you have to say can, that? Can I say, as, <laughs> as, as one of our dear friends, you would see, say. that's why I set you up. I said that because I knew that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure you did, brother. Uh, but who are some of the, because I know, because again, you know, 125 years, who are some of the past uh, uh, people that have been there, past the inductees, excuse me, that have been there, uh, that have uh, impacted the professional level? The school. You wouldn't believe me if I tell you all these names. Um, <laughs> Julio Cruz, he played for the Mariners. Okay. And uh-huh. then we have um, Devin Aranda. He's now the LSU defensive coordinator. Wow. And Brian Bellick. He really? was the Super Bowl um, champion for the Ravens. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I, I didn't I, know he I, was no, from Redlands. I, 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 somebody told me about that. Really? And um, Jim Weatherax, he's not a familiar, familiar name, but he was the first tackle ever in, in the first Super Bowl. Like for the Packers. Wow. Really? And then we have Craig Horton. He played for the Rams. And then Jerry Tarkington, he coached for Redlands High School, and he went on to win the 1990 NCAA for the Redlands. <laughs> so Tark, the Tark, Tark. So yeah. Tarkanian was at Redlands. He was at RCC. RCC. He was at Long Beach State. Yeah. So he well, has a love st- for- He started chewing on the towel at RCC. No, right it may have been Redlands. We got- we, Well, we, right. We might, you're right. It may have been right. Redlands. You're right, you're right. He it might, he might have had yeah. a little towel thing going on when yeah. he was in high school. Yeah. Absolutely. Indeed. But that's, man, that is some history, man. Yeah. Again, you, you know, it, uh, again, Fernando, I mean, hey, man, this guy's sharp young man. You know, just graduated two days ago. You know, I mean- you know, but that's that's good stuff, man. So again, so, we really appreciate him coming down. And if people want to get involved with, you know, there's got to be a ton of alumni out there. If they want to get involved with the Redlands Hall of Fame, if they want to come to the ceremony, if they want to do anything like that, uh, let us know how they can get involved. Well, they can go on our um, on social medias. We have um, Twitter at RHS Athletics Hall of Fame, and then you can type that same thing onto Facebook. And as well, um, the ceremony is on October twentieth. You can get more information online and just come through. We'll love to have more people, more the merrier. And you're on Twitter, uh, at RHS Athletics H-O-F. So we appreciate it. So 
Thank you so much for coming in to IE Sportsnet bright and early. First guy that was here. Yeah. He was looking at his watch. Like, <laughs> you said 7.30. Uh, yeah. I was here. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I was here at 7.15. You know? Exactly. But a, but a fantastic man. You guys are doing a really good job over there, and best of luck to you, sir. Thank you. Fantastic. Absolutely. So we're joined in studio once again by Redlands High School Hall of Fame on IE Sportsnet, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B. And the turn. Did we say the date? I'm sorry. Did we say the date? That the, uh, uh, October 20th. October 20th. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, so we have to, I mean, if um, do we get invitations? Tonight. Right, oh, yeah. 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 Is yeah. the food yeah. involved? Yeah, of course. Okay. There's food there. involved. That's, that's all you had to say. Yes, we will be there. <laughs> yeah, trust me. And that's I know that I know the girls from Crunch heard that. I'm gonna eat healthy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna eat any snacks or anything like that. Because the girls from Crunch are personal trainers. Oh, and man. they've been all on my case. Oh, really? So you know, so it's all good. They're gonna beat so. you up. So, are we Snapchatting? That's yeah, what I'm yeah, talking about. There we go. He's going to let everyone know. Yeah, everyone I know we're on live radio, but hey, Snapchat is important. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, and again, uh, I have, no, I don't even, I, I tap Snap. Uh, you know, we have a Snapchat, but do we I, do? Oh. we do. But oh. I had my my daughter is sixteen. So we got to get. She uh, showed me how to use. So it. we got to get intern Pete to help us out. Absolutely, um, that's you that's know. your generation. There we go. Man. There we go. So Pete, because Pete Knights is he's that's what he does for a living. I mean, he just he's he's you know I mean he wakes up in the you know you know the kid he wake up in the morning cell phones right you know, you know absolutely absolutely my man. So let's take us a quick commercial Indeed. break. You listen to IE Sports Net connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B and Eternal. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports thirteen fifty. To the end, got nosy. Cruising guys were favorite pastime. Taking chances, arms cut her lifetime. Said you only live once. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800 282 8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well and much more. 
Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed SCORE Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports. Or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle scoresports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. What's up? This is TJ Ward from the Denver Broncos. You're now tuning to Iron Sports. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside, California, in the iHeartRadio studios. Yeah. It's ice. <laughs> what is this dude? Greg Holler, what are you doing, man? Yeah, it's Greg the, Holler and his oh, music man. collection. It's, is, is this the Hammer version? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this dude right here. Oak Town, where you at? Uh, but no, it's going down. It's IU Sports Net. Connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Conley, Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. And the, the young ladies there, they're like, MC who? You're right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. But it's going down, man. It's, it's, it's IE Sports Net. We're doing our thing. Uh, we have a, man, what a great show. It's been a track meet. Yes, it is. I'm excited because once again we had Coach Byrne, Linfield Christian, USC, uh, baseball and football, right. two star stud. Right, I, right. I like the fact that I found out that he went to Rubido, which beat up on your uh, alma mater. Well, I, I mean, I, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we're not going to talk about and that. And then we have the Redlands Hall of Fame, and that's what I love about IE Sports. That we can talk sports, right. but we can also talk about impact for the community. I mean, to find out that Brian Billick, I had no idea that he was a Redlands right. native. So that's pretty good. But you know what? I, 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 I'm excited about this next interview, and I'm not. Um, <laughs> I'm excited for the radio show, which is great. But you're not worried. You're thinking about the pain. Right. The way that they look at me and they say, Brian, uh, oh, how you how, get after the, it. The shaping. The shaping exactly. is going to happen. And they said they have that body measure to tell me how much fat I got on my body. <laughs> and they, and they, they really smiled. When they say we need to test somebody out, and right. they because we need to know the levels, so right, they got right, excited right. because they needed somebody with a lot of body fat. So they looked at me and not you, right? Uh, which is not fair. <laughs> but uh, but ladies, I digress. Go ahead, everyone, introduce themselves. All right, uh, this is Aaron Cortez, the community outreach director. For who? For who? Uh, for Crunch Fitness. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, uh... I'm Paula Rojas, one of the personal trainers and in charge of Camp Crunch. And I'm Kristen Venegas, Manager and Marketing Director for Nutrishop Glendora. There you go. Fantastic. And now we we uh these these great folks, uh, we've been we've been talking to them. Uh Crunch, uh Grammy just has gyms all over the place. Yeah, right. I mean, I mean, right. you know, I mean, you know that What's my home gym? You already know it's uh, Rancho Cucamonga. Yeah, I was about go. to say <laughs> Rancho Cucamonga. I, I was like, you know, my man's like, no, I got you. Don't trip. He yeah. said, I'm, I'm on the job. Yeah, because Ed is sitting there scratching his head. I mean, I've known this guy what four or five years. Well, I now. mean, you know, I'm just sitting there like, you know, I mean, you know, this is. I mean, I've known Aaron a week, and he knows more about me. You know, it's it's something wrong with our relationship. Like, hey, no, Aaron's like, I, I got that. Uh, we've been we've been talking to you guys because you guys have a great campaign going on. That we're excited that you guys have included us in. Uh, uh, Aaron, maybe talk to us a little bit about what it is that, that uh, is going to be taking place here, which is a, which is a great thing. Uh, so pretty much what it is, we're going to end up running a Kent Crunch. Um, it's just a competition to pretty much try to change people's lives. That's the that's the biggest thing. Why, um, keep, why the, do they keep looking at me when they, they, they say they're like, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> well, well, because that's, that's what it is. well, because that's he because you know, I heard you when he when you took the four creamers. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Maybe that's it. They like he, looking, he just won't learn. He looking guilty over here. Yeah, I know, right? So he's like, this boy just won't learn. Got a twinkie in his back pocket, <laughs> and he's laughing like, just wait till these ladies get a hold yeah. of you. Oh yeah, pretty much. Right, pretty much. But yeah, we're just trying to change people's lives, man. Trying to give them a different lifestyle. Indeed. Um especially people that have like medical conditions and stuff like that and they reward them um mm -hmm. that's like the biggest thing right yeah now uh miss paula and, and again i'm not because you have I'm a pronounce very, it right yeah but i say <laughs> i mean when i say it i gotta have my pinky out or something like that because it's like you know it's like, fine, it's like fine wine or, you know what i mean <laughs> you know uh, but, oui, but oui. yeah exactly <laughs> exactly uh but uh maybe you could talk to us about uh because we obviously we discussed like what it is is camp crunch it's gonna be happening at crunch gym um out, out in san Dimas. Mm -hmm. uh but maybe you kind of give because there's a background on why you're actually doing this maybe you can kind of inform our audience why you're actually doing this um, honestly, seeing everybody's transformations, it really brings joy to my heart. Um, seeing everybody starting from point A to point B and just completely transforming, not medi uh, medically, but physically and emotionally and just 
building that confidence in themselves. It's really rewarding for myself and as our gym as well. Fantastic. A- absolutely. And Kristen, uh, Nutri Shop. So tell us a little bit. You you guys, I know you have, we talked about that body fat index and stuff that you were excited to, to show me and, and say I can give you a free tour, <laughs> yes. which wasn't fair. Um, tell us a little bit about that, about the diet and everything that you guys are going to be doing on the back end. Because you, you're going to give a fitness plan, a meal plan, and everything. Yes, that's correct. So every contestant in Camp Crunch and every participant at the orientation day, we will do an initial in-body analysis scan. It's quick. It's pain-free. Um, all the contestants get to take their print up home. We explain to them how to read it, but it's their personal information to keep. And we saw that. It was like Star Trek. You know what I mean? It was like some stuff. I mean, you know, your equilibrium's on there. I mean, it's so weird. you won't see got it. everything. So you're saying you won't see it, only I will see it. We will see it, oh, so we can explain it to you. And the important thing for us seeing that is it gives us information on your lean body mass, muscle mass, body fat percentage, uh-huh. and basal metabolic rate, which we use to provide a custom and personalized meal plan for everybody. And she's serious about her meal plans because she comes in she's like the magazine we talked about last time last time with my recipe oh here yeah. it is yeah, exactly <laughs> like, if, like, if yeah. you want an autograph and there's uh, no be and, 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 there, and there's no fried chitterlings on there by the way you know what I mean she's exactly, like if you want an autograph 15 bucks yeah, exactly right 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 <laughs> yes, yeah. I'll be doing a book sh- right. a book signing at New my Shop, office hours West Covina my office hours <laughs> exactly uh, now we wanted to talk to her uh, about how they can pay what you know what they have to do to actually get involved because I know that means the interest you know, I look. You know, I, I had to turn my phone off. You know, because the, the phone is you know starting to jump up a little taste, but you know, because people are really excited about it. Maybe kind of talk to them about how they can actually get involved. The process. Uh, well, you can actually play at Nitra Shop uh, where Kristen's at, and it's fifty dollars cash and fifty two dollars with credit card just to pay the fees. And you can come into Crunch, sign up with me, or, or you can contact me at 909-919-6652. And you can contact Kristen at 626-335-2604. Or if they want to pay to uh, the Arrington Kids Fund, um, <laughs> you can send it. You know, no, 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 I, I digress. But, you know, we're excited about that. So uh, it looks like we have a start date. We have an end date. We have prizes. So who wants to give us more details about that? So let me know. We need to clarify. Can em- employees of the show cannot uh, win prizes, correct? I just want to make sure. Okay, okay. We're just, going no in get, we're just going in and get the workout. Then it goes back to me being on freshman football. I'm beating myself up to sit on the bench. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, well, 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 you know, cause like like you said, we're going to be taking these pictures. You know what I mean? True. And, 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 you know, and, out, you know, and I'm ready. Like, you know, it's going to be basketball season. We're going to have the shoulders out. Right, So right. I'm excited about it because, you know, like I said. Same you know, with chest. Well, yeah. I don't, I've already went out there. We got a chance to, to go out to San Dimas uh, last week and, and see some of the workout. Next time I will be out there. Man, uh, yes. And, and let me tell you something. I was out there, you know, I, I mean, you know, Kristen had that rope. Uh-huh. I was intimidated. Right, right. You know what I mean? You know, she was, I think she did, she did about five pull-ups. I mean, just right there in front. She was like, oh, you need me to do some pull-ups? Just broke them things <laughs> down. I, if you see I mean, her Instagram, because she, she, can, she competes. Oh, yeah. Well, so, I, I, I mean, almost dropped serious. the camera and just turned around and just walked out of there. It was like, embarrassing. It was, it was embarrassing. <laughs> if a woman yeah, can I, do I thought more push-ups than you, it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, I thought she was going to say, well, you're, you're next. And I was just going <laughs> to yeah, have to just go to the restroom So, we side. digress. Give us the details of the competition, because Eternal could talk forever. <laughs> okay, so the actual competition, <laughs> the start date is going to be October 4th. Mm-hmm. And um, we are getting before and after pictures for everybody. Nice. The final end date is going to be December 22nd. And there is um, $1,000 in cash and prizes available to our winner. Fantastic. We're really excited yeah, about that. Uh, for, I mean, for people to be able to win 100 bucks is uh, a... <laughs> is, um, Oh, I'm sorry, a thousand bucks. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand dollars. And, per, um, and if you just want to sign up for Crunch just in general, uh, like I stated uh, last time, it's going to be uh, you can go on uh, Crunch.com or you go to one of the locations in the Inland Empire. We have just one of the one of the many. I mean, the many. I mean, I mean the Harman all over the place. Yeah, yeah, Harman Fitness is taking go. over. So we have um, Temecula, Hemet, Marino Valley, uh, Riverside. Actually, two in Riverside, yes. your hometown. Uh, bang, and, you bang. know, we have uh, Ranch Cucamonga, which is my man's gym. Indeed. Absolutely. Chino, Upland, Diamond Bar, Laverne. Yep. Everywhere. San so Dimas, just, obviously. Correct. Yes. Correct. So, uh, yes. Crunch is everywhere. So, you can go online or you go in person. Okay. And then, uh, Kristen's NutriShop. N- NutriShop. Sure Give to us all that. Because we want to get you some love for your shop as well. Indeed. Two Thank of them. Thank you. So, um, I am out of NutriShop Glendora, West Covina. Right. But overall, there are 63 NutriShops servicing just the Southern California area. Oh, wow. We are all across the country. Um, there's a lot of shops out here for you guys' area. I know we have, like, Fon- North Montana. We uh-huh. have Riverside, Eastdale. There's 63 throughout Southern California. Wow. You can go on NutriShopUSA.com, enter your zip code, and it'll give you all the shops closest to you. There you go. Fantastic. So, we're pressed up against the time. It's time for us to get out of here. But Instagrams, I know you guys wanted to give those out as well. Okay, for Paula, it's P-O-L-L-Y 1132. 
And then for Kristen, it is body biologist, B-O-B-D-Y-B-I-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. And then our guy, our guy. All right, and it's going to be... Uh, Look at him. He's like, well, he's like, well I, got about one, I got about five of them, so let me tell you. Right now. <laughs> yeah, or you could uh, follow us, um, Sam Dimas. So it's going to be at uh, crunch underscore Sam Dimas. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, we man. So, you guys. Yeah, man. So we got to get ready to get out of here, man. But again, want to say thank you to our guests. We had uh, Linfield Christian in Linfield here with Coach Christian, Burns, Redlands uh, Hall of Fame. Yes, indeed. Crunch and, and Nutri Shop Glendora San Dimas. Indeed. Want to make sure I say which one it is. Everything. So we thank you guys for listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Illinois Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. Hammer the greatest ever. Man. You're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sportsnet, every Saturday morning, 8 a.m.